All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Mineral Live. Uh, Jordan Rocha here, and next to me, I've got a Hyundai Ionic 5, a limited at that. So we're bringing this to you today because we're excited to announce that we're kicking off another teardown with the Ionic 5. Uh, we got one fully appointed at the limited trim level, so it's got a full suite of lane keep assist. The interior is fully decked out as far as uh, Hyundai would produce it. And it's got a whole suite of features that we'll dive into as we get into the teardown. So I just wanted to kind of give you the wave tops of what we're seeing here in the vehicle um, and then kind of give you a little bit of background about why we chose it. So first and foremost, this is the first vehicle that Hyundai Kia have released off their new eGMP platform. So that's their electrified global modular platform. And so as we look at VW with their MEB, we look at Toyota with ETNGA, we're starting to see a lot of these electrified global modular platforms, and we wanted to dive into what Hyundai and Kia are doing. What are the trade-offs they're making? How are they executing? And how do they compare relative to their competitive, not just vehicles, but competitive e-platforms? So that's one of the reasons that we brought this in, in addition to the fact that this is an 800 volt architecture, or 697 volts. That still gets them within the 800 volt kind of nominal architecture, especially with respect to charging. So these guys are able to charge in 18 minutes from 10% to 80% as far as 800 volt architectures go. That's not bad. Um, there's folks that are a little better, folks that are a little worse and so forth, um, but that's another reason. And then from a range perspective, that gives them roughly 303 miles worth of range. So they're just breaching into that 300 mile threshold, right? Kind of that golden 300 that everyone's trying to get to. Um, and you can even see from the exterior, right, there's some things that we'll get di deeper into as we go on that are enabling that range, right? So fully closed off front grille, nice sleek lamps in the front. They have what we would call A-surface AGS. And so A-surface is not recessed behind in some of the grills, but on the A-surface component, they have active grill shutters which they can close off and improve air counts. So some different cues that we're seeing on the exterior of the vehicle to help them get to that range, especially given that it's a little bit of a larger vehicle. Okay, so um, just over 70 kilowatt hour battery. This is obviously a lithium pack. They use pouch style cells and I believe 32 modules in an array. Um, so we'll dive into the pack as soon as that's dropped. We're excited to get into there. Um, and then from a specification perspective in terms of power, they're right at about 320 horsepower and 446 horsepower uh, for the dual motor version, which this is. So just stay tuned for all the up and coming videos. We kind of wanted to give you the highlights of what this vehicle is, why we chose it, and kind of announce that we're about to dive into it. So uh, looking forward to seeing these various subsystems come apart. Stay tuned and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.